Bouge ta bouche et tes yeux Et puis dis-moi ce que tu veux Bouge ta bouche et tes yeux Et puis dis-moi ce que tu veux Hello, my name is Richard Bertinet and I'm with the Osne team in their kitchen and today I'm going to show you how to make my famous baked brie in brioche. You're in for a treat. So we got some flour, strong bread flour, and we enrich the dough with some milk, some butter and some eggs, a bit of sugar, some fresh yeast and a bit of salt. So the way I make my dough is I always put the liquid first, my eggs, crumble the yeast with my hand, put my flour, my sugar, Fancy salt, my butter is soft. Then we put it on the mixer, form it on slow speed to a rough dough, but I can't see any flour or liquid. And then we can go on second speed until the dough is done, which should take about 13, 40 minutes. To bake the brie, it's very important your brioche is very nice and light. You don't want a very heavy dense dough to go with it. The dough is ready. What I'm gonna show you now is how to finish a dough by hand because the dough is still sticky in there. So I'm gonna take the dough out of the bowl, no flour on the counter. Just by doing this, that, folding the dough over itself a few times, you create a nice tension on top and this doesn't stick. So never put the dough straight from the mixers onto a bowl. Finish it off a little bit by hand first, so you got nice, strong dough. So that's a one kilo of flour. That's enough to make two big brie. So I'm going to cut the dough in half, a bit of flour, cut it in half. And that will take about an hour and a half until it's risen really, really well. Okay, the dough has been rested for an hour and a half and now look, it's ready, ready to go. It's right over. So now what we need to do is to put the brie together. Tip the dough over. I'm trying to use that base in here to be the bottom of the brie. And try to go around, leave a little marge on the side. This one. So a piece of grease proof paper, lift it up. This one, I use a baking tray. I put a wooden ring on the middle, you can use metal ring. If you don't have a ring, flan dish will work the same. But put some pepper inside so you can lift it up. You lift it up, raise it around, press the bottom. English brie in here, nice and ripe, perfect. And I just mark the brie, just about half a centimeter down. So you just open up slightly there, you can see how ripe it is, beautiful. So put some slice of garlic between each slice, little in little cuts, a bit of fresh herbs on top, with some thyme and some rosemary. So that's a very summary version. You can do a um, truffle version by cutting the brie in half, put some truffle paste on the middle and the other half on top. That's wonderful too, into the center. And that's gonna prove now for a good half an hour. We're gonna put some glaze on the top and bake it in the oven. Okay, so our brie now is ready for the oven. So in here I got um, two eggs with a pinch of salt. So you just burn the egg, give it a nice dark color and beautiful glaze. And then we we'll just put some glaze all the way around. Smell is amazing already. Put a drizzle of olive oil and that's ready for the oven. So our oven is dropped now. We're gonna use a dropping oven because of the brioche. There's a lot of sugar that'll take about 45 minutes to bake. So we don't want it a very fierce oven. You want an oven with just on its way down. So there's no flame, nothing. And we're gonna keep an eye on it. Every five, six minutes, we keep an eye on it and move it inside the oven so we don't burn it and overcolor it. Can't wait to see it. Okay, the brie's been in the oven now for about 40 minutes. I hope you're ready for this. Watch. That's the best part of the day. Look at this beast. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That should come up nice and easy. As ready to serve. Bit of bread. This is my brie, baking brioche. Now, I'm gonna dip into it with some bread and have a look at this. So the way I serve it at dinner party usually, I serve some charcuterie on the side, some potatoes, asparagus when it's in season, and you dip everything like a fondue set. And when you finish all the cheese, you put a big green salad and a walnut dressing, toss everything together and cut big slices of the brie and just eat it. The baked brie and brioche. I'll show you now. Look at that beautiful, cheesy gooiness coming down. Here we go. On the bread. What's not good about this? A pool of happiness, we call it. Bon appétit. Mm. Mm. 
Where's the wine? <laughs> hey, Rolly. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I'm out. Ah. <laughs> 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 it looks amazing. Get involved, mate. Put your head first. <laughs> we should do brie bobbing. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Sarah. <laughs> Get bobbing. <laughs> wow. I might leave it to the camera's off. Bouge ta bouche et tais-toi. Et si tu m'aimes, dis-le-moi. Bouge ta bouche.